All right guys, so we are back with another video and as promised in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the GraphQL calls. Okay, it's actually going to be very easy. So we're going to go into the menu page first and let's work with this and then we'll go into the dashboard page. So what we're going to do is I'm actually just going to comment all this out because we're likely not going to need them anymore. And I'm going to also comment this stuff out too. Okay, and what I'll do is let's see, I'll go over here. And we're going to need to invoke a function called use query. Okay, now use query is a hook that's from the Apollo uh, GraphQL library, and it's going to return three uh, variables or three uh, values. Okay, we'll get to that part in just a sec. But let's type use query, and that's going to auto import as you can see from Apollo client. And we want to pass in a GraphQL query. Now we've already created that inside this queries folder so we're going to pass in menu page query so menu page query seems like it doesn't want to auto import huh all right let's uh page query i guess we gotta manually do it then so import from go out one graphql queries and then menu page query, there we go. All right, perfect. So it's gonna return three values. It's gonna return loading, error, and data. So if there's any error, it'll throw an error, obviously, if it's still loading, if it's still making the API call, or I shouldn't say API call, I should say GraphQL call, then it's going to be in loading state. And if there is any data, then it'll be there too, okay? So data is pretty much just what's ever returned from the GraphQL server. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now what we can do is we can restructure this. So we can say if not loading. Okay. What we'll do is we will return a div menu page. And we can just render this menu components. Now for guilds, we're gonna to need to actually get the value from data. So if you actually want, you can console log data, but it's actually gonna give us an error because we are trying to pass in guilds even though it's not defined. So let me actually see if I get rid of this for now, just to show you guys what it looks like in the console. Uh, it seems like nothing was returned. Okay, the reason why is because we need to handle the else case. Or we can just do return h1 loading. All right, so there we go. So if you refresh, you should see this little loading thing. And the reason why that is being displayed is because it's currently loading. Okay, but then the state of loading gets altered into not loading. So at first loading is true, which is why uh, this part is being rendered. But then loading turns into false because the query has received some data, so it's done and then it's gonna to return to menu page. Okay, so if we look at the console now, you should see, all right, so if you look at the console now, you should see our data over here. So we want get mutual guilds. So we're gonna go ahead and do this const uh, get mutual guilds, get that from data. And we're gonna pass that in as a component or have a component of property, sorry. And there you go. So we have all of our guilds, perfect. And that is pretty much it for this f part over here. Okay, like we literally don't need to do anything. And that's pretty much it for the menu page. So we can delete all of this. Of course, you should also check the error too. So if uh, it's not loading and there's no error, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Let's go into dashboard page and let's do the same thing. So we're going to comment everything out except for these two functions over here. And what we'll do is we will do the same thing. Use query. And we want the dashboard page query. So this one auto imports, but the other one didn't. I don't know why, but whatever. Loading, error, and then data. Okay, remember it takes in one parameter. All right, there we go. So now that we have passed in our query, we actually need to pass in one more parameter. 
into use query and this is going to be variables now this is going to allow us to pass in our variables into our queries so we can pass in the guild id and so we're going to do that so guild id now how do we get the guild id again well remember we get it from match.params.id because the guild id is in the route okay it's a route id and that should do the trick so now this will make the graphql call to our graphql server with the variable with the correct query and let's go ahead and go down over here so if not loading and no error we will return a div and then let's see we're gonna have to destructure our values so let's do this console log data and let's do this dashboard actually let's just leave it like this for now i want to show you guys what it looks like and if there if it's still loading we'll do loading okay so let's go here you can see it says loading don't worry there's no error we just wanted to log the object okay so you can see that we have all of our data good that's good okay we have our guild config or guild roles uh get user perfect all right, so we have to destructure all of our uh, values now. And notice how the fields over here for this object are the same field names that we had for our GraphQL query. Okay, so we're going to need to destructure that. So const, let's do this const get guild config, get guild rules, and then get user. And we're going to destructure that from the data object. And we're going to basically just copy this part, the dashboard menu component. And for the user, we're going to pass and get user. For config, we're going to pass and get guild config. And for get guild rules, we'll pass in as well. And that should be it. There you go. So we have our uh, components right over here. And we can see our, uh, our prefix. And I think that's all there is to this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me delete all this and look at how much more cleaner this component looks without all of those promises being chained, without everything being like, you know, invoked one after the other, it looks just much more cleaner. All right, so that's pretty much it for this whole tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.